the merger is progressing very well. Our original timeline was that we would try and complete the merger by 1st of July. And the way it's looking now, it looks imminent that sometime in early July, the merger should get culminated in all respects. Regulatory approvals have by and large been received. There are a couple of procedures which need to be carried through. The account the systems have been broadly integrated. People integration is in a very advanced stage of completion. In that sense, the merger is a relatively simple process to, to execute because unlike two banks which are merging where, they're, where each bank has got housing loans, car loans, consumer loans, credit cards, and so on and so forth, here it's a very simple process because HDFC Limited only does housing loans. We are the largest housing loan provider in the country and HDFC Bank does everything other than housing. So in that sense, the merger, the integration process becomes that much more simple, simpler. And now, analysts are saying that net interest margins uh, in the interim would get reduced from 4.1% to 3.7%, 3.8% over the next 12 months. Uh, you're saying that that's going to be just for the interim period and things will recover. But how do we kind of play the patient's game uh, during this timeline? Because we are, uh, we are accustomed, and investors rather, are more accustomed to seeing uh, HDFC and HDFC Bank perform at at uh, you know at a really high level all right so if you put it in simple arithmetic if the bank has a margin of 4.1 and hdfc has a margin of 3.6 realistically when the merger happens the overall margin of the bank then would tend to come down in the short term but this is a very short term phenomenon because with every quarter as liabilities of hdfc limited mature those liabilities get replaced with lower cost of funds, which is the current accounts and savings account money. So gradually over a period of two, three, four quarters, the margin, the net interest margin should start normalizing and getting back to the level of margins that the bank currently reports on a much larger base.